So in this tutorial, I want to talk about the uh, photo filter and the gradient controls. First, we go into filters and effects, and we uh, select photo filter and gradient. It's called photo filter plus gradient because we can do just the photo filter, where let's say I just wanted to add a nice tone to this picture, make it a little more moody. I can just add uh, a t tone, like a golden tone, to the entire picture. And I can do it in various modes. I can do it where it's keeping the brightness about the same, or whether it's, when you have the brightness off, it's acting just like a photographic filter. Like this would be a pure red filter, for example. And this would be a filter that is more and more transparent as you increase or decrease the strength. Um, so you can do basically any, any color hue that you would like with any strength that you would like. And when you keep the luminance, it pretty much uh, keeps the light level the same throughout. And then you have the, what's called the HSL mode, which what it will do is it more of a, uh, it's akin to the duotoning, where it will keep the lighter colors whiter and the darker colors. It'll, it'll start to tint a little bit more. And that can be very good for, for toning images uh, and, and setting different hues. Um, for example, with this one, as I as I set the tone, you can see that it changes it, but it's it's quite different than the. Uh, see, it keeps the sand color about the same, so it has a different effect. With the gradient, what you can do is you can open up a gradient window, and then you can move this gradient around. You can move it in this window or this window, and you can also rotate the angle of the gradient. So if I wanted a a gradient at an angle, I could just change the gradient amount to whatever I want and then have that uh, come in at that angle. With this particular picture, I'm wanting one maybe from the horizon and so what I can do is I can have, uh, you can have a sharp gradient so that it looks like uh, something moody out there on, on the ocean is, is going on or you can have a uh, wider gradient, more diffuse gradient to put a cast on the entire picture. Now just like with the vignette controls, uh, you can have issues with contrast. For instance, when I had the sharper gradient, you can see that the contrast levels are just different. Um, it almost looks real, but it also looks a bit uh, different contrast-wise. And so you can open up the contrast controls and change the contrast of the, of the gradient to make it look even more realistic. So here it starts to blend a little bit better as, as we change the angle and it looks like it might be more realistic than if we just disable the controls. Um, it doesn't necessarily blend in as, as well. Um, so you can see it looks very light there, but here it, it, there it blends in pretty well. It looks like more of an approaching storm. Um, and then as we increase the gradient amount and maybe the, the strength of the gradient, you see without the controls it's very uh, very lacking in contrast, but then when we add contrast, it starts to look um, a lot more realistic. Um, the idea with the contrast controls is just play around with them, experiment with them until you see something that looks just about right. That's pretty much the overview of the gradient controls. I'm going to show you one other thing very quickly, and what that is is uh, if we open up the gradient window and we change the gradient amount, let's say let's say we want a very strong gradient, and we change the angle and we uh, bring it in at an angle and then what I can do is I can set that gradient amount and the strength and I can save it and then what I can do is I can come back into the photo filter gradient and then do essentially the opposite gradient in the opposite way where what I can do is I can change this when you can't see the gradient you can refer to this window I can change the color of the gradient to just a completely different color and then change the gradient and then merge that in and then uh, get two completely different colors for my image. So now you can see that I have a very uh, interesting image with uh, two different gradients coming in at two different angles, which gives it kind of an, you know, an interesting sort of dramatic look. But that's basically, that's the basics of the, um, of the gradient controls.